Hi Squids, this is Squeezy here with another YouTube video, and in this video I'm going to be doing linear probing and linear and quadratic probing. Uh, this is a hashing, of course, and as you know, we did some hashing in the uh, previous tutorial. Um, this is my fifth time recording, because all the other times I was apparently talking in like a word salad, sort of like Donald Trump, just sort of saying stuff without really knowing what I'm talking about. So, I know what I'm talking about this time. Woohoo! Okay, so what is linear probing? It just simply takes a hash value with collisions, of course, and keeps going over slots until it finds a match. Or not a match, an empty slot. So, it has a very simple hash function. This, where... So this is our hash function, and this here is our linear probing function. This literally just means it's going to be the incrementation. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you're just going to keep plugging that in. Okay? So let, let me show you what I mean. Let's put it in practice. So we have this here. Um, and we want to find out where 90 goes. It literally just go one over and it go here. Suppose this was occupied, it go here and then here and 90 would be there. But this isn't occupied. So 90 would go here. And of course, sixty would go here. Okay. So there we go. This is our hash. And pretty much what we did is we if you plug it into the formula that I show you here, if you if you do like ninety mod eight plus one mod eight you you'd get you you'd get three and same thing with two you'd get four five six there you go now for the sake of argument I'm gonna say this is occupied and I'm gonna go over here and say this is occupied as well so it go here 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 and then sixty would be up here so I can show you what it looks like because sixty would be here that's occupied sixty sixty and sixty and that's what it looks like. Now, quadratic probing. Uh, quadratic probing is very similar to is very similar to linear probing. The only difference is that f of i is i squared, so it's going to be zero. Well, it's not going to go to zero. It's never going to be zero because that's literally just going to be right where you are. It's going to be one, two, three, four, and etc., etc., etc. So if we look at the formula, it's the same thing except with i squared. So let's put it in practice. You'll see what I mean. So, let's start off with 6, then let's start off with 90. So, um, h of x is going to be equal to um, 90 modulo, modulus, not low. I, I heard modulo somewhere and that's been stuck in my head ever since. It's driving me back bonkers. Um, plus 1 squared modulus 8. So, let's try this. If you go to your calculator, you type 84, or if you just type that into Google, you'll get your answer. In fact, I think this would be much easier to type into Google than to go to my calculator. So I'm just going to open up a new Google window, do that, 3. Okay, so... Well, let me close up this tab because I'm not using it. So we know that this is going to be at 3. So 90 is going to go there. Now what we got to do is 60. So if we take this and we replace this with 60, we get 1, which is unoccupied. So it's going to go right there. Now suppose... For the sake of argument, that's not occupied, but one is occupied. Then what you do is you go two, and it's at zero. That's unoccupied, so you go there. But I'm not doing this for the sake of argument. I'm just doing it like this, and I'm gonna get rid of that just because it proved to be useless. So this here is our hash table after quadratic probing. You have completed everything. Now, uh, actually, one thing I'm going to address in the next tutorial with double hashing and then the tutorial after that, rehashing, is to get rid of clustering. Because you see, this is a nice 
clustered effect here. You want to get rid of that clustering effect. So, yeah. All right, squids. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me if anything. Tell me if you have any problems in the comments below, whether it be the smell of my hair or computer science. Just let me know. I want to know. I want to know about your problems. Anyways, um, please check out the channels with other squids. That includes Squid Co., which is my which is a collaborative channel I have with my friend Pablo. We do top 10 facts there. It is very unpopular. People don't seem to be hitting it, so I want you to go hit up Squid Co. And thank you all for watching. Uh, I'll see you later, and peace out.